Prince William was joined at the remaining minute by spouse Kate Middleton for Anzac Day commemorations in London. Before we continue, if you are new here please just take a few seconds to hit the subscribe button to get amazing contents. The Duchess of Cambridge made a shock appearance with Prince William after he carried out a poignant job that used to be undertaken by his younger brother Prince Harry. Today, William took part in a wreath-laying ceremony at the Cenotaph in Whitehall to commemorate Australians and New Zealanders on Anzac Day. At the remaining minute, it was introduced that spouse Kate would then be joining him for a service of commemoration and thanksgiving at Westminster Abbey after the wreath-laying. As they arrived at the Abbey, Kate wore the same Alexander McQueen coat costume she wore to Princess Charlotte's christening returned in 2015. Today, she paired the recycled coat with her a scarf fashion hat, black footwear and a black bag. She additionally wore Princess Diana's former Collingwood pearl earrings. The service at the Abbey saw the Dean of Westminster provide the address, and there had been readings from the New Zealand and Australian High Commissioners. Prayers were read by young people of every country, and the Maori Waiata, or song, was once performed by the London based Ngati Ranana. Harry, 37, had at the past been the royal the Queen had turned to lay the wreath on her behalf, with him carrying out the poignant venture in 2016, 2018 and 2019, before attending the service at Westminster Abbey. Kate made a final minute shock look at a service to mark Anzac Day at Westminster Abbey. However, he stepped down as a working royal in 2020 and moved to the US with spouse Meghan Markle, that means these days it was down to William and Kate to attend the commemorations this year. Anzac Day April 25 marks the anniversary of the start of the First World War Gallipoli landings and is a countrywide day of remembrance for Australia and New Zealand. Thousands of Anzac troops Australian and New Zealand Army Corps died in the ill-fated 1915 campaign. Waves of Allied forces launched an amphibious assault on the strategically vital Turkish peninsula, which was once key to controlling the Dardanelles Straits, the vital route to the Black Sea and Russia. But the format backed by Winston Churchill, then First Lord of the Admiralty, used to be improper, and the campaign, which confronted a heroic defence with the aid of the Turks, led to stalemate and withdrawal eight months later. Its legacy is the celebration of the Anzac spirit courage, endurance, initiative, self-discipline and mateship, proven by the Antipodean troops. Yesterday, Prince Charles and his spouse Camilla remembered this gallant comradeship in a message released ahead of Anzac Day. The heir to the throne stated in a statement, As we pause to reflect on the sacrifice of the armed services personnel of Australia and New Zealand in two world wars and in different conflicts and peacekeeping operations, our ideas will additionally be with these communities around the world who are being torn apart by violence and conflict and those who are fighting for freedom in the face of oppression. Thanks for watching, drop your thoughts in the comment section and please subscribe.